For me, connecting humanity with technology through art is very important. It's basically a fundamental discourse and context of what we are doing in our studio here in Los Angeles. Pretty much in our many works are fundamentally designed or imagined based on a technological imagination. And we are surrounded by systems, hardwares and softwares that are constantly taking who we are and trying to mimic who we are and give us something back to us. So I think technology is humanity's mirror. And this mirror has to be understood. And I think art is allowing us to go around this mirror and ask questions, see unique perspectives, and make the connections more purposeful and impactful. My work feels absolutely organic because specifically inspired from nature. So it's a very fundamental starting point for the many artworks we are producing. If it's inspired from nature, it follows the rules of nature. So data is always a visual expression in our work. If you think about the data as a pigment, it feels really interesting because data is a bunch of numbers at the end based on a time domain coming from a machine to machine, system to systems. It's basically a language between machines and systems, right? But how can we as humans listen this language and transcode and transform into something more human? So this kind of imagination is really, I know, challenging, but data allows us to imagine this invisible world and make it more visible. I think when I think about reality, I always remember an incredible quote from Philip K. Dick, one of my hero, a science fiction hero. He said, reality doesn't go away when you stop believing in it. So it's kind of a life like we're in a simulation concept of things in our surroundings. And of course, I think nature is a simulation and I think life is a simulation of its own kind. But what I am feeling is AI is allowing us to use something from past, perceive something now, but feels very futuristic. It's conceptually living past, now and future at the same time. And this feeling comes from, I think, AI. When a machine speculating an alternative reality or nature, we can really see many seasons at the same time. If we see a beautiful Australian coast landscapes, we can see the same landscape from multiple angles, different times of the year, and we can really perceive things at the same time. And that feeling is not possible without AI. For NGV Triennial, we are creating a project called Quantum Memories. Quantum Memories is a large scale, 10 meter by 10 meter AI data sculpture using 200 million photos of nature and using AI to dream alternative realities. The artwork is also using Google AI quantum research results from supremacy tests of quantum supremacy and using quantum computation results to let AI dream and hallucinate nature. The most wonderful beauty of working with NEC for the NGV Triennale is being able to create one of the largest media artwork in the world. So as far as I know, in a given time and space, this artwork will be one of the largest AI data sculptures in the world. And the beauty of collaborating with NEC is, of course, the scale and the quality of experience and resolution and the system that is like coming together in the, in the incredible ground core of like NGV will be a landmark in the history of media arts. When you are imagining like these large-scale sublime experiences, there is a lot of engineering, there's a lot of calculation, there's a lot of like finding the perfect balance between the brightness, the colors, the perfection of color distribution. As the concept about this nature, we will be pretty much seeing incredible amount of colors coming from nature. I mean, imagine millions of clouds photos, imagine millions of ocean photos, imagine millions of forest photos. So technically AI will learn all the shades of green, blues, orange, sunset, sunrise, like it's the life, the nature of colors will be in the artwork. So to really represent this diversity of color and reality, I think NEC is doing an incredible work and support to make this piece as perfect as possible.